I'm very intense, very hardcore, very focused. Over time, I've learned to soften that a little bit um, when communicating. I will say early on, um, I was very, very brash. I was just going to say how I felt, um, get direct to the point. So, you know, I specifically remember in high school basketball, just yelling at people to move here, move there. You need to do this. You need to do that. But then over time, learning how to, I could still stay focused and I could still stay intense, but ask people for things as opposed to telling people things or being able to tell people, you know, in pressure situations, instead of like, hey, I need you to do this. It's like, hey, I know you can do this. I believe in you. So I remember our shortstop had made two errors earlier in the game and we were in a crucial situation and she had just made one error and I called time. And she even said after the game, she was, I really thought, I was like, oh no, here it comes. Like she thought I was calling her in to like, just let her have it. And, and I called her in and I said, hey, the ball's gonna find you because right now you're the one person that's like frustrated and doubting yourself. And the ball's gonna find you and I need you to know that I believe you can make this play. So go ahead and, and make the play when it comes and finds you. And it's not something I had done a lot before, but I knew in that moment, one, she needed to know that, yes, I'm still intensely focused, but at the same time, two, I know I need you and I believe in you. And I think doing those little things can show that while you're focused and you want your teammates to be just as focused, putting a little bit of belief in them will go a long way. And so my communication has had to adapt over the years. Um, but I think when your teammates know you're hardcore and intense, they want to play with you and for you. Um, you just have to know, you have to figure out how to instill or empower them a little bit while you're demanding more from them.